Greetings, everybody. Cynthia has moved to a new system. For your convenience, you will now have your own personal snapshot page to list all Cynthia events you attend, courses you take, links to your Cynthia certificates, and more. To gain access to the new Cynthia member system for things like registering for an, a course or webcast, you must reset your password. If you have previously taken a course, registered for a webcast, or had a Simpty membership, you must use the email address that you previously used in our system. All of your records are tied to your username, which is the email address that you used in our previous system. Creating a new account is only for people who have never been in our system before. You want to avoid creating two Simpty accounts. Here are some helpful directions for navigating the new system. Go to the Simpty member portal, which I'm showing here. This is at Simpty.org. Click on member login at the very top of the page here. This will take you to the login page for our new system. Enter your email address that you have used previously. And then here, do not enter your old password. Click on forgot your password. And then it will ask for your email address again and click on reset your password. This will send you an email. Follow those directions to reset your password. Once you receive the email, enter your email address and the new password that you created. Click on login. This will take you to your personal snapshot page. This will be your page from now on. It will include all of the information that you have entered into our system. And here is where you can purchase courses. Um, keep It'll keep a record of your courses. You can access the Simpty Digital Library from here. And then you'll also have a My Professional Development page that lists all the previous courses that you've taken with Simpty and links to your certificates. This should be working within the, the first quarter of this year. To purchase a course, they are now located in upcoming events. Click on upcoming events once you're logged in and on your personal snapshot. And then here you can view all of the upcoming events that Simpty has. All of our self-study courses are free to members. So if you view those and you can purchase those and they will be free. Let's try this one. To purchase a course, click on view. It will give you a course overview uh, when the course starts, when the course ends, and you can click on register to register for the course. Click on this radio button that you'll be attending as an attendee, and then click on next. Answer the event question. Click on the check out button. Here you will see your registration. You can add another registration if you'd like to register for more than one event. You will see a grand total. If you're registering for an instructor led course, the total will be here. And then click on submit. you will automatically be enrolled into the course in the SIPTI LMS. You can print your order summary here and you will also get an email confirmation. Once you've purchased a course and received your email confirmation that your course registration was accepted, 
you will also need to log into SMPTE.org to access courses. So you would come here, go back to member login. And you will go to your personal snapshot. If you've recently been in the system, it'll take you right to your snapshot. If it's been a few days, it will ask you for your username, which is your email address that's in our system, and the new password you created when you received the email to reset your password. From your personal snapshot, you will click on virtual classroom. And this virtual classroom link takes you to the SMPT LMS. And this is where all of our courses are located. To find a course, we have a category for instructor-led courses, or we also have one for self-study courses. If you want to access a course that you purchased and it was a self-study course, you would click on that folder. And then you would find the course that you have just registered for. And then you can click on the course and it will let you in the course. If you did not register for the course, it will not let you in. If, also, if you're not logged in here, you will see your name up here if you're logged in to the SMPT LMS. Um, sometimes it takes a few minutes for it to recognize you. So if, it, if your name is not up here, click on log in up here, and then it'll convert to your name and you'll be logged in. And then you'll be able to log into the course and see the course. If you have any future questions, um, please contact education at simpty.org and we will answer any questions that you have. Thank you very much.